What is up, Pond family? It's Egal, and I'm here on my cell phone today because uh, my laptop is packed. And I went to go get my stitches out. It looks kind of gross, but it's healing and it looks good. But uh, we just got the news here in California of uh, some some regional shutdowns. Our governor say you know shutting down some regions to only non-essential businesses and essentially saying that everybody should stay at home and not go out for the 20, for the next 21 days. Well, if you do the math, today is December 4th, I believe. 21 days is Christmas, and a lot of people are going to be listening to this, um, staying at home, and they're gonna be shopping from their phones or their computers. Now, with that said, by the way, if you're watching, let me know press hashtag live or hashtag replay, type that into the comments, let me know. Um, the other situation is that what happened last time is that California shut down and some other states shut down. So we're not just talking California, obviously. And if you're a California Palm Broker, you want to reach out to the California Palm Brokers Association, to Kappa. Um, what's up, Carly? Thanks for being here. But I'm doing this live because I want you guys to realize that this isn't the end of this. And if your business isn't prepared to market online, social media, to sell online, to sell live, to bring in customers a different way, you're going to lose out on some major, major sales. What's up, Amir? How are you? What's up, Danny Z? Thanks for being here, Michael Shuby. Um, and I just, I, I want you to know that every day that you spend and waste not learning how to go online, how to do a Facebook Live, how to sell online, how to drive traffic, what your customer acquisition cost is, um, the back end of, like if you don't know this stuff, you're going to lose a lot of money. And I know that it's hard for palm brokers to change. I know that we get into this business because it's so different every day, but yet we have this mindset of I don't want things to change. Ladies and gentlemen, business is changing. And if California shuts down, Arizona is going to shut down, and the other states are going to shut down, and New York and Florida and other people are going to shut down, and some states aren't, and I, I understand that. And it doesn't matter what you believe about COVID or you, or, or you disbelieve about COVID. It's what your customers believe as well. If your customers feel afraid, they are not going to go into your store and shop. Plain and simple. It's not going to happen. And if you don't have the convenience of making a payment online, of a website that can drive sales, of a Facebook strategy, of an Instagram strategy, of an ad strategy, you are not going to. And so, you know, we, we've got the Boost program coming up on Monday where I'm going to go two weeks of just full on marketing. For those of you who are on the uh, five day uh, marketing challenge, you guys have already seen incredible, incredible strides and testimonials coming from that. But please, I beg you from the bottom of my heart, don't just do the same things that you've been doing. You need to learn how to shift and pivot to the online space regardless if you are a brick and mortar business. You have to learn how to do business differently regardless if you've never done it that way. It doesn't matter if you want to thrive and not just survive and stress out. So if you want to learn how to market your business and boost those online sales and people coming in safely, then just comment boost and I'll give you some information. But please, please, don't just cover your eyes and keep walking blindly, not knowing um, what's going on. Not knowing what your next move is or what to do in this online space when this is 2020, you aren't a business that's gonna go online. It's every business should be online, 100%. And if you're not online, you're not a, it's, it's not a real business in 2020. So for those of you watching, thank you so much for watching. I say this, you could tell with the emotion in my heart and in my soul, I want you to do well for you and your families and your legacy and I don't want you to be held up by uh, I don't have enough time and uh, it costs too much money to learn and I can't read and what am I going to do? And well, 
I've been doing this for so long and I've been doing it the same way. Because if you keep doing business the same way, it's not gonna be okay. I was talking with my brother earlier today and I sent him this video. He said, he's like, man, another shutdown in San Diego. I guess I'm gonna have to go live again. He was going live and having thousands of people watch that live, selling thousands of dollars every single time he went live. Driving traffic with, with Facebook ads and driving traffic in different ways. And if you're just gonna sit there during what's going on, it's gonna be really, really hard to handle the stress and the overwhelm, but I, I promise you, my goal is to get you over the overwhelm and learn how to market your business, lead your business and strategize so that you are successful. What's up, Craig? Thanks for jumping in. What's up, Rob? Great to see you, brother. Sean, Heath. So let me know uh, in, the, in the comments below, um, you know, if there was another shutdown, are you ready? Is your website up and running? Do you got your Facebook marketing plan, your Instagram, your YouTube? Is your team up and ready? Are you not stressed out whatsoever? You're just like, I got this. I got this. What's up, Renee? Renee, we're talking about shutdowns in California. It's happening again. Adam, what's up, brother? Thanks for watching. Thanks for being on. And uh, I sit here and and I'm, I'm perplexed sometimes at the slow motion at the slow motion movement of pawnbrokers to be able to pivot and change their business. Thank you, Carly, appreciate that. Right, like, you've gotta move quick. You can't say like, oh, I'm gonna wait until February when things, and I'll see, and I'll wait. It's, it's too late by then. You've left money on the table, you've lost customers, you've lost sales, all because you've got this mindset of like, oh, it's not a good time right now, or, or you know, I, I'm gonna see, and, um, you know, and and uh, maybe we'll we'll see what happens. What's up, Bob? Thanks for being here. Ninety five percent shut. If it hits, I am praying it doesn't. Yeah, it's it's coming. A, a big wave is coming again. If you believe it or not, governors and mayors and people are gonna start shutting down. But the question is, what is stopping you from making the jump into learning how to run an incredible pawn shop regardless of the pandemic, regardless of what's going on outside to drive more business to your bottom line? Why are you stopping? Craig says Toronto is already shut down. Craig, man, I'm happy that you are in the five-day challenge for sure then. For sure. And more and more towns are, you know, if, if, if you've got a shutdown going on, if you've got cases here in San Diego, we're hearing just more and more cases of people shutting down and um, cities and hospitals being overwhelmed. And although you're an essential business, it doesn't mean that you're going to make money. You're not selling groceries and toilet paper. And so if you don't know how to navigate this. You know, some people in the pawn industry, uh, some of the mastermind clients are saying they had the best year ever. Their pawn balance is back to what it was before the pandemic. Sales were doubled. The efficiency has doubled. There's less overwhelm. And others I'm talking to are saying, this is tough. I don't know what I'm going to do. Business isn't the same. And if that's you, if you're thinking to yourself, business isn't the same, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I, I talked to somebody today and I went to their website and it was just 15 years old. I'm like, there's no faith. You're not doing anything to help your business grow. Awesome, Craig. Great to hear, man. Jeremy, thanks for being on. Awesome. You, you installed a drive through implementation of Safe Curbside and massive use of Pawn App website and social media. Good for you, man. Good. For, well done. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't know how to do this. So, um, difference this time is no government money for customers to buy when things are shut down. Yep. And so how are you going to sell your merchandise? 
right? Um, yeah, Carly, I think that there, there's going to be a stimulus um, after the new year, but you've got Christmas. And if we are not making noise today, you've missed the biggest shopping month of the year. You've missed the biggest pawning month of the year, the biggest buy, sale. I mean, this is the holy grail for all retail. And if people just wait, if people just wait, they're going to be sitting on their hands. So with that said, I'm starting um, a new boost program on Monday uh, where we go through six weeks and the first two weeks is just going to be about marketing, Facebook, we're going to dive into how to do ads, dive into how to create, uh, amazing, we're going to dive deeper into creating great content, we're going to dive into so much more. And if you want to join us, I usually just do 10 people, just put boost in the comments and uh, we'll make it happen so that you can sell more, you can make more noise and do better this December than you've done ever before and moving forward into 2021. So again, stay safe, stay healthy, love you all. And uh, those of you who joined me live, thank you so much. If you join me on the replay, let me know um, and we'll, we'll jump into a call. You said our shelves are way more empty than we want them to be. Uh, ask that question in the Alliance and I'll solve that problem for you. Not solve it, I'll help you to, um, to get some more stuff on your shelves. So uh, take care everybody, all the best. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. I'm off. My wife has caught me. I was supposed to go straight home, but I had to come home to pick up something I forgot. And so I'm, <laughs> she just texted me. She's like, hey, I thought you were coming home. I saw you on Facebook Live. Um, so <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. Uh, so uh, Gabby, I'll reach out to you. Thank you so much. And um, we'll talk to you guys soon. For those of you in the Pawn Marketing Challenge, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, and there's a smiley face from my wife who has caught me uh, Facebook living from my office uh, instead of me going home. So, <laughs> totally busted. But I came for the checkbook, babe, um, that I forgot. So, uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Now it's time for me to go home now that I'm busted. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, love you all, and uh, take this seriously. Um, don't, don't wait. Please, I beg you. Take care, everyone.